Oliver Hoffman, Jonathan Huang, Alap Parikh. Hi, I'm Sean Bramson. I'm part of the pioneering year of connective media here at the Jacobs Institute at Cornell Tech. Quite literally, I, this has been the greatest two years of my life, and I can say that with absolute certainty. I have this idea that if you had this idea you wanted to create something from your imagination, you could build it from the bottom up. One of the biggest like, uh, difference for Technion and Jacobs Institute is that it is so diverse. We have people from all over the world. Both female and male have the same equal opportunity. And we have a conversation for female entrepreneurs. And I feel really inspired and it is really helpful. So I studied at a University of Rochester, uh, studying applied mathematics, and from there I went out to work in the space industry out in California. I uh, did a double major in mechanical engineering and computer science. I found that while the engineering was incredibly interesting, I couldn't find the inspiration that I needed. And I wanted to be able to help people creatively. What inspires me? And it's really how people interact and how people interact with technology and how they interact with each other. And as I got through most of that, I was like, hey, well, you know, I can create things now, but um, I can't really give the life I want to to them. And so that's when I reached out uh, to the Jacobs Institute uh, because I had I'd seen this amazing new program called Connective Media. The mission of Connective Media was just to do that, it was to be able to give, um, to give us the tools and to bring them together so that you could affect the change you wanted to see. There's this huge revolution about virtual reality and people keep complaining that they don't have hands in virtual reality. We are not able to bear this handless experience for 10-15 minutes and there are people who live with this every day of their life. Even after technology has made so much advancement, some people have been left behind. We know technology, can we do better? So uh, Pilot is one of the, uh, is one, is the biggest project that I've been working on. Uh, the idea is to bring independence to people with quadriplegia by allowing them to use their tongue to control their surroundings. Uh, we're tracking tongue gestures and connecting to surrounding technologies, allowing these people to control them in ways that they have not been able to before. We're getting a degree from Technion. Why don't we have a trek? It was the Jacobs iTrek, Israel trek. It was just an incredible two-week experience. It's just, for me personally, it's great to be in Israel because I don't know, people have this kind of image about Israel um, and then when you're here, things aren't actually much different. People are, like, it's, it's just like being in any other place where people are striving to do better, work hard. I wanted it to be a staple of my education. My father, uh, when we visited Israel, made it a point to come to Haifa to visit Technion and to see uh, all of the incredible things that happen there. It's just great to be in a new place where people are doing similar things. It's like a connection that you have, like we're getting a degree from here as well. It's been a hell of a lot of stress, a hell of a lot of pressure, but so much fun and worth every single moment. When I come here, I feel like I can do anything.